Hi guys, it's uh, Inam Gafour here with the Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the font uh, on your operating system. And the font is basically the the text which is underneath the apps, uh, anything which notification text there, obviously any updates that you have, any menus. It's basically anywhere where they, whatever you have text within your operating system. We're going to change the way it looks. Okay, so at the box, you don't need to root your phone to do this. Uh, this is just running stock uh, ice cream sandwich of version 4.0. So all you need to do from the main home screen, go to menu, then settings, then go to display. From display, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see two options there for one for font style, one for font size. Font size is exactly that. It gives you options. You just tap on them and then exit out to change the font size. Uh, font style, this gives you a list of predefined fonts which are in the operating system. So at the moment I've got the default one selected. Now if we select, say, for example, Rosemary, it'll say set Rosemary as a font. Yes. And then you can see the menu it takes you out to is already changed to the Rosemary font. And if I come out of that, you'll see the home screen applications, the, the font has changed there as well. Even on the notification screen there, the font is changed as well as the system notifications there as well. Now, if you want to change the font to something which isn't in that list, go to menu and settings again, go to display and then font style. So if you want to change a font to something which isn't in this list, so which isn't predefined on the phone, two ways in which you can go about it. First way, click on get fonts online. It takes you straight into the Google Play Store and gives you a bunch of fonts. Now, uh, these fonts are priced at about 62p each so you're paying 62p for one font and if you go into it it displays kind of a little image of what the font is and just purchase it via that way or second method which is the way I've done it in the Play Store search for fonts and it's the first one that appears in the list it's called Fontomizer SP and then in brackets font for Galaxy now this is a font for any Galaxy series phone um, and it's like a, a green cube with a white Android symbol in the middle of it. Now just install it, I've already got it installed so I'm not going to install it again. So what I'll do is go into my app drawer, load up Fontomizer SP uh, and it just reminds you it's for any Galaxy series phone so click to start and then you'll see an alphabetical list of fonts that it has inside of it. Now it's not a huge amount of uh, fonts in there, but it's better than paying 62p for just one font. Um, this is a free application, so I didn't I didn't pay for anything there, uh, and it's for any Galaxy series phone. So if we just select the top one there, just A, uh, and you can see it gives you quite a list of fonts for one. Now it's not, as I say, it's not a huge list. Some of them, the alphabetical letters you tap into, there's not a huge list. There's maybe one or two fonts in there. So for in this example, if I select that one, which is just Anaconda regular, uh, you'll see it says starting download. Now once it gets to that stage, you can come out of this screen. That will always stay blank. Um, so come out of it, go back to your home screen, and then drop down the notification bar. And then you can see Anaconda regular to complete. Now this is classed as an application, so don't be worried if it says do you want to install the application. You just say yes to that. And there you go, it says it's installed. We'll click done. And then all you do to turn it on is basically go to settings, then or menu and settings rather, then display, then go to the same font style menu again. And then this time you should be able to see uh, there you go, Anaconda regular, the one that we've just put installed uh, from that Fontomizer app. So select it as you normally would, say yes to it. And then you can see straight away the menu's changed. If you come back to the home screen, the application titles have changed. The notification bar text has changed, the system notifications have changed. See all of it goes across as easy as that. Uh, that's a live wallpaper I've running in the background so that's not going to change by the way, just before someone says. And that's how easily you can change the, the font on your Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone. Maybe to a standard default one that's a part of the phone, or maybe to a custom one that you download from the Fontomizer app, or even to one that you download from the uh, Pay for and download from the Play Store. Um, whichever way you do it, it will always be in that font style menu 
where you get to from menu and settings so just pick them select them and then just come out and it changes uh, and that's how easily you can change it just always remember it is classed as an application so if ever you want to get rid of anything which is uh, in the font style menu which is here if you want to get rid of uh, anything that is there you have to remove it from the applications so for example if I want to get rid of the one that I've just installed I'll just change it back to the default one first and if I want to remove it from that list all I do is go into my applications settings uh, I'm just going into it by a different way here application manager and then you should see in the list there you go anaconda regular font because it's classed as an application so all you do is tap it uninstall say ok there and then it says uninstall finished and then what happens is the next time you go into that menu that font anaconda regular shouldn't be there so if you go into the font style menu now you can see it's not there and that's how easily you can change the fonts on the Galaxy S3 smartphone any questions or comments that you guys have got please hit them up in the comment section below there hit subscribe from the button up top there it doesn't cost you anything and it's free and you can check out the future videos Thanks for watching, have a good night and we'll see you next time.